Having a firefighting trailer is a useful tool to have when you live in the bushland in Australia. In this project you'll see me build and test my firefighting trailer. So what you can see here is my very simple firefighting trailer. I tried to keep this as cheap as possible. So what I did is I bought myself a second hand trailer that was $70. Um, the only thing that I needed to do to the trailer was add a bit of steel reinforcing because the trailer was pretty old and rusty. Um, but that was quite easily done with a, a little bit of scrap steel and some, uh, some welding. On the A-frame near the tow hitch, I added a couple of pieces of angle iron, welded them in place. That would allow me to easily add or remove the pump. The pump is going to be held down with a couple of ratchet straps. I added a simple bracket to hold the red fire hose reel that you can see. And then on the opposite side of the tank, I added a couple of steel posts there with, with hooks on them. They could hold all the other hoses that uh, that I would need for for using this firefighting trailer. The firefighting trailer has been set up so that I can either suck water directly from the dam and fill the IBC tote, as you see here, or I can suck water directly from the dam or any body of water and feed that directly to the firefighting hoses. Alternatively, I can connect the pump to the outlet from the bottom of the IBC tank and use that water supply to feed water to the fire hoses. The firefighting trailer has been designed to allow me to use either one or two hoses, firefighting hoses at the same time. When both of those are actually stopped and I'm not using them, I also have designed a, a return pipe, which is a pipe that you can see going into the black fitting towards the, towards the front of the top of the tank. That allows me to recirculate water from the bottom of the tank through the pump and back into the tank when the other uh, the other two hoses are not actually dispensing water. That'll prevent the pump running dry or running under constant pressure. The trail has been built so that everything that I need, including all hoses and fittings, um, fill pipes, extension pipes, and firefighting pipes are all connected to the trailer one way or another so that as the trailer moves it's a complete mobile unit. So what you can see here is the pump being used to fill the tank with water from the dam.
the pump on full power and both hoses in use. You can see the water level in the IBC tank dropping down as I run this section in four times speed. In real time, both hoses running, I should get over five minutes of constant water flow through, uh, through both hoses, which should equate to about 10 minutes of constant use with one hose. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I think if I was to try and go with a larger size tank, I'd then have to start getting into a, a more specialised trailer. And, and given the land that I need to drive around, I may struggle to, to tow something that's, that's any larger than a thousand litres.